Most meteorites that make it to Earth have tiny, colorful spheres of minerals in them that are older than the planets of the solar system. Let's talk about the life of a chondral. Chondrules are tiny spherical grains found in chondrites, the most common type of meteorite that lands on Earth. They're primarily made of silicate minerals like olivine and pyroxene, materials rich in magnesium, iron, and silicon. They're not only visually striking, but also scientifically important. These little spheres formed over 4.5 billion years ago, before lots of the planets even existed during the earliest days of our solar system. They formed during brief but intense heating events in the early solar system, possibly from shock waves moving through the solar nebula. These events were so powerful that they melted tiny dust grains floating in space. The droplets formed into spheres since there was no gravity to shape them into anything else. The molten droplets quickly cooled and solidified into that shape, and over time, gravity pulled them together with other silicate material floating around in space, eventually trapping them inside of growing asteroids. They ended up remaining there for billions of years. All that said, chondrules didn't all go through the exact same history. Scientists classify chondritic meteorites based upon how much thermal metamorphism they experience inside their parent asteroid. Basically, we're talking about heating and alteration of their physical structure. This classification ranges from type 3 to type 6. Type 3 chondrites contain the most pristine chondrules. Their original textures are sharp and clear. The minerals haven't been homogenized, so you can still see things like barred olivines or polyphoretic structures. These are the least altered, and they are essentially snapshots of early solar system conditions. Type 4 chondrites show early signs of heating. Chondral textures are still visible, but there's more recrystallization happening. The once distinct mineral compositions are beginning to even out amongst the other minerals that are encapsulating them. Type 5 takes it a step further. Chondrules are still there, but starting to blur into the matrix even more. Their original structures are partially erased as their minerals become more uniform. By the time we get to type 6, most chondral textures are nearly gone. The rock has undergone significant thermal metamorphism, the minerals are fully equilibriated, and the individuality of each chondral is lost. In some cases, you may not even see any evidence of visible chondrules at all when examining the rock. Studying chondrules tells us a lot. Their mineralogy, structure, and chemistry help us understand the conditions of the early solar system, like temperature, pressure, and the distribution of elements. Some even contain pre-solar grains or clues to the presence of water and potential organic molecules. In short, chondrules are not just funny-looking rock spheres. They're the defining characteristic of the most common meteorite type that makes it to Earth, and they reveal a lot about the formation of bodies in our solar system. If you want to learn more about space rocks, make sure to give me a follow. Space is within your reach.